Want to know the most direct path to a world of love? Of course you do, because you, my friend, are rad. And luckily, that's exactly what you'll learn in this video. I'm Brianna Borden, and I help people awaken to their highest selves. Subscribe to my channel and hit that bell to get alerted when I post a new video every Monday. We are at a crucible moment as humans on this planet. Too many of us have had an extractive relationship with the earth for too long, and it's not sustainable or indeed kind. We've moved from reciprocity to entitlement about what we take from the great mother, and it has to stop. We have to care, deeply care, and then do something about it. And there's a huge bonus. Turning toward and tending to this planet is the key to finding peace as humans together. Because when, slash if, we collectively finally realize that this beautiful home of ours is worth our attention, love, and care, these three essential to love things will happen. One, we'll find mutual purpose. So many studies have been done about how quickly we humans will join together when we feel like we're on the same team. All of a sudden, you and I are one unit working toward a common goal, and therefore, you are now part of my circle. This happens in team sports, in countries, with political affiliations, and so much more already. And if we turned that energy toward our survival as a species, all of a sudden, all the perceived differences we have would become less important than the goal. And then maybe, just maybe, we start to see the true beauty in each other and celebrate it. The second essential thing that would happen is energetic connection. We are all connected through the woven tapestry of energy in the earth and through the ethereal realms as well. So when we recognize and truly start to feel that oneness that arises from the earth through us, we can start to celebrate and uplift one another rather than judging, controlling, and condemning one another. The third essential thing is that we would be learning from a true teacher. Listening closely and learning from nature imparts us with wisdom that's undiluted. When we start to pay attention, there's a recognition of the natural cycles and our systems, our energetic and structural systems, are able to release into these cycles and learn how to rest, plan, create, celebrate, and release in a way that feels restorative and sustainable for us and the world. This way of living creates peace and harmony within and without. This is the way. The way to more love, to more peace, to more harmony. And it's essential if we want to stay on this gorgeous planet hurling through the universe. So what can you do today to lovingly tend to our planet? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And if you're interested in going deeper on how to navigate from a more aligned place, I created an inner compass meditation and journal prompts for you, and it's free. There's a link down below in the description. I hope you'll check it out. I know you're going to love it. If you liked this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and share it with your friends and maybe even share it with family member or friends that may not have this notion about our planet quite yet. And check out my other videos to create more peace and freedom in your life, like this One with the Universe, a call for connection video, and this three minute guide on how to meditate. I am so grateful to be on this journey with you and I am sending you so much love.